Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about a special Christmas tradition that we did in our family. It was the 12 days of Christmas. I'm sure that many of you have done this. Before and I want to talk a little bit about why maybe perhaps your family would like to get involved and do something like this as well. You know, traditions are one of those things that kids will remember in your family. It is, it, they are truly the glue that holds the family together. They're also an opportunity where you can teach your children about giving, about actually doing something and being involved. One of the greatest stories around Christmas time that's told over and over and has been made into several movies is A Christmas Carol. And we meet Ebenezer Scrooge, who's this miserly old philanthropist, well, he's not a philanthropist in the beginning, but he's this miserly old, uh, he represents basically the worst, uh, the worst of capitalism. He's very greedy, and he's very selfish, and eventually he becomes this incredible philanthropist. And then he gives and he gives, and it doesn't make him any poor. Actually, it makes his life richer. It's filled with more joy. And that's the message that we want to leave with, with that book, is the importance of giving and how much joy that it brings into our lives when we give to others. So this is one of the things that we talked about in our family council, and we talked about it usually by September or, or October of the year. We gathered our family together, and I had actually done some research on some different families that were in need. Usually I, I gathered around five different people, and then we talked about it in our family councils, and I told the various situations, and we let our kids choose three families that they wanted to do the 12 days of Christmas. Now, we had other projects going too. We did stuff for Santa's, and that was a more involved project, and I'll talk about that later. But for now, the one that they loved the best because they were the most involved was the 12 days of Christmas. So what we talked about is, okay, what kinds of goodies, what kinds of treats, what kinds, kinds of cookies or cakes or puddings or whatever are we going to make for these families? What kinds of DIY, do-it-yourself projects, what kinds of things we're going to do there? And actually, uh, surprisingly, our boys came up with a lot of things. We made wreaths, we made ornaments, we did all kinds of different things, and they helped with it. So we started this on December 13th, and it went through December 24th. Now, what we first did, too, the very first thing that we dropped off on someone's doorstep, and we did all of this anonymously, is we left them a, a letter. And in the letter, it was that we had chosen their family to do the 12 days of Christmas for. And we asked them to please not go out on their doorstep or try to find out who we were because we wanted to remain anonymous. Now, the kids, the boys had a ton of fun creating all of these things. We put it up on our blackboard and we knew um, each thing that we were going to make each day. And we planned and prepared and baked and made and all of those types of things and it was all ready to go. But I think the best part for them, the most fun part, was actually the delivery part. They would run up to the doorstep as quiet as could be. They dropped it off and ran back to the car. <clears throat> So this was something that now our kids as adults, they do with their own families. It was one of those Christmas traditions that they remember, that they valued, that they loved. It brought a lot of joy and happiness into their lives and into our home and hopefully into the lives and homes of the people that we did this for. We didn't make this a huge expensive project. We had a certain budget that we used around the parameters. We spent more on when we adopted a family to do their Christmas for them. But this was a, one way that I wanted the kids at a very young age to be actually be involved with giving at Christmas time. Try it with your family. Um, I think you will love it. You can go on my blog and read all about how to do it and the various steps and the things that we did. And the blog is Good Parenting, Brighter Children. Let me leave you with a thought, the end, a quote by Roy Smith. He who has not Christmas in his heart will never find it under a tree. It goes to show you those presents. They're great and they're wonderful. And everyone loves waking up on Christmas morning to have a present under the tree. But I think when all is said and done, the things that we remember most about those holidays is what's, what we've given to others. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.